I'd like to talk about two people from the field of clinical psychology who have had a tremendous impact on my life. The first is the late Susan Nolan Hoeksema, who was a professor of psychology at Yale University and a leading expert on rumination and the role that it plays, especially in depression. I joined Susan's lab as a research assistant in the summer before my senior year in college, which by then I had become an expert at writing to different professors about their research and not receiving a reply. And so Susan, the way I'll always see it, took a chance on me and gave me that position. That summer, Susan and her amazing grad students taught me so much about critical thinking, scientific writing, and what it looks like to generate an independent research idea. I started to wonder whether I, like them, could be an agent of change through research. It was also during that time that I began to expand my research interest to self-injurious thoughts and behaviors, which led to the next person who took a chance on me, Matthew Nock, who's currently a professor of psychology at Harvard University and a leading expert on suicide and self-injury. Matt, who eventually became my doctoral advisor, taught me a lot, but specifically taught me to think uh, both critically and creatively about the work that we do. And it was Matt who instilled in me this sense of responsibility to persistently improve the quality of knowledge gained through research. Um, in working with Matt, I learned how uh, rewarding, exciting, humbling, and impactful that research process can be. Um, importantly, both Matt and Susan were very down-to-earth people, so real people with very full lives, both in and out of work, um, but who always had this genuine interest and willingness to lend their time to their students and mentees. Today, I find myself sharing that joy in mentoring and teaching others and just grow in admiration and appreciation um, for everything they've both done for me.